we are here with Heroes and Outlaws at the Sweatbox. So um, other than the Sweatbox tonight, what have you guys got coming up recently? Well, we're actually back in studio again, uh, recording this new single called The Undead Carnival, which is quite sinister sounding. Yeah, um, it's probably it's different it, to the Cowboys and it's a, Yeah, it's <laughs> a heavier it's song. A it's, a, it's out on Halloween, so hey. just to add to the uh, theme. It's all plug. But, uh, you know, Halloween. Yeah, we've, uh, we've got our EP out, which took us six months to record. Um, so now as a full band, which we are, because it was three of us when we recorded the EP. Yeah. Um, and that's what we use as a foundation to get in members to come in. But now that we're a full band, we're doing the single as a full, so it's our best song, really. The family, yeah. the dysfunctional family is complete now. Oh, yeah. It's the Adams family, and it's <coughs> a Halloween track <laughs> with the Adams family. It's all fitting together. Uh, it's all going well, yeah. So where can people find you? On the internet, got uh, Facebook, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, everyone, yeah, Facebook. Um, don't even mention the word website to me. <laughs> oh, the website is a painful. Oh, yeah, saga. We, we, yeah. Got, we have got a website, but it's not hosted yet. Um, Facebook we, is definitely the and YouTube because uh, YouTube, YouTube and Facebook are. You know. So walk us through your set tonight. Do you have any covers in there? Anything special for what us? What can we expect? Um, well, we only do covers in different venues, it depends on the environment, what people are there. If it's like an audience yeah. our age, we're doing the same kind of thing, then we'll just play our own songs, our like everyone else. Um, but basically we just put on a good show, you know? Mm -hmm. I love to show off, <laughs> you love to show off, you know? It's gonna be, uh, we love it. If, you, if anyone's got the CD or they want, if they listen to the tracks on Facebook or anything, it's literally, it is literally the EP. We play, yeah, we, EP. We, we, we play it as it is. As we well. practice, you know, to the EP, and, you know, we play it from the, you know, yeah. from the very yeah. first or to the last, basically. Yeah. Sounds as it. We try does. to get it as close as sounding <coughs> as we've recorded it as well. Oh. That's right. What do you guys think about the involvement of young people like ourselves, the Young Promoters Network, in um, the music industry? I think it's brilliant, you know, I'm, I'm having a... It's I great. I, I, feel, I feel like I'm a <laughs> bit of a rock star, like, you know? <laughs> yeah. Even um, Yes, I mean, this is the first kind of, this is the first experience we've had with this particular, mm. you know, organisation. And, <coughs> and it's wonderful already. Oh, it's, it's, it's <laughs> oh, well, you know, yeah, we've met you two. <laughs> yeah, we've got Gandhi. And, uh, <laughs> it's, um, I think if, if the organisations can be active and, you, you know, what it is, you find a lot of promoters and promotion companies that, are a lot of talk and they don't end up doing anything or bringing any gigs to anyone. Mm -hmm. And I think if you can have someone or an organisation or just a group of people who can actually do it, like you guys have done a year, then, you know, that's exactly what we need. But we need more and we need new places yeah. and new venues. Otherwise, we're going to be stifled and play in the same place over and over again. Yeah, you know, it's, it's good exposure for you. Mm. People can check us out now and you know, get a bit of an insight into our personalities. And music. And never see us again. And uh, never listen to us again or <laughs> want to know anything about us. So you said you're releasing the single. What are, what are your aims, say, for the next year? Well, we're going to continue, obviously, um, gigging as much as... Still want to be a happy as five piece. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to be a five piece. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue uh, gigging, you know, trying to get more experience, because we you know, haven't actually played more than... Uh, We've As in this band, we probably play about, this is probably our eighth gig. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and we've been in this band for about two years, trying to get up and running, just us both, because it was two years ago that we formed it. So we're going to continue gigging. Uh, It'd be nice to be recognised, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, building a fan base is what we're doing. You know, I, I th a lot of people refer us to as, enough. like, uh, you know, event sevenfold sound, yeah. yeah. Uh, which we get a lot, which is totally fine because I don't see any band in Britain sounding as similar to them, you know? No. <laughs> which no. is fair enough. So, uh, yeah. but I find there's a lot more American fans and British fans with the, with the event stand for them. <coughs> That's the problem. So, so to be recognized over there, I think, I think I would, uh, would be cool. Yeah, it would be nice to have some form of, you know, recognition in terms of yeah. Yeah. just normal people, you know, going online. And interacting with more American people. If I say to you, I'm not going to name any bands, 
It's good Don't get yourself in trouble. It's good you. to get a theme that springs to mind. Oh, he was an outlaw. It's oh, a cowboy rock and roll, you know? Iron Maiden and Eddie. Exactly. Of yeah, you, you think of Vents there and you think of something dark, quite uh, like horror style, you know, death part. You know, yeah. You think it's like, yeah. yeah, all that kind of stuff. Well, uh, thank you very much for talking to us tonight, and we're looking forward to seeing you play. Thank you very much. Thanks um, a lot. With the Young Promoters, and this is Heroes and Outlaws.